Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the big old spinning world. My name is Jade Starr. This is How to App on iOS. I do believe it is episode 213. This one's behind the song. Number two, and today we are looking at the Indigo Sunsets and their awesome track, Raging Waterfall.
I sometimes too don't feel like I fit in anymore or belong anymore, but that is the case, you know. And hey, welcome I to the show, everybody. Are you unmuted? Yeah. You didn't need to yet. <laughs> and by the way, <laughs> two hundred and thirteen's off to a great start. Hey, Stu, you want to turn down the sound as well on your on your YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> we thought we had everything sorted so well anyway hey folks what's going on if you're watching on facebook what are you doing oh, you're cray cray come over here to youtube at youtube.com slash jade star or jump over to how to app on ios and uh dot com i had to have on ios and dot com so that will so you politely f off <laughs> Did you get that, Stu? I can see him laughing on the camera. I love it, man. <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men. So what are we here to do anyway today? Hey, everybody, welcome along in the chat. We'll get to saying hello in a minute. We have the wonderful Stu Cashmore from the Indigo Sunsets here today, and we are looking at Raging Waterfall. We're going to look at the band project, and we have in the chat Andy in the comments to answer all your questions. So, um, Andy's under the Indigo Sunsets name today. So, if uh, you've got any questions in chat you want to throw it, Andy, do that. And let's, without further ado, <laughs> welcome. Hey, Stu, welcome to the show, my friend. Can I come off mute? <laughs> I like you better as a mute. <laughs> welcome. How are you doing? All right. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? All happy? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All good. Good start. Professional. Yeah, man. I love it. Look, it wouldn't be a. Oh, no, I'm already swearing. Wouldn't be a how to app on iOS. At, uh, what's the show called? <laughs> Who knows? It wouldn't be one of these shows if there wasn't a problem. Do we have some echo? I don't know. Let's see. Is there echo? Really? I don't know why that is. Echo, echo, echo. I can see someone write echo. Is it? I don't know. Echo in from my end? I don't know. Uh, let us know if we are echoing, but I, it, sh it says we aren't. Anyway, let's let's jump in and uh, see how we go. So we're looking at the track today. We're going to open up the Garage Band Project, and we've got a little special thing for you at the end of this episode, at the end of uh, looking at this track as well. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's have a look. Let's jump into the Garage Band Project, and uh, where are we? We'll jump to our small screen here. So we're prepared. I, I am actually prepared. Um, so where are we? Here it is. So we're looking at, where is it? I can't even find the track now. It's in GarageBand. There it is. So this is a GarageBand project that we are looking at. So it's from last year. Now, Raging Waterfall is definitely one of my favorite songs from last year. And I'm sure many people would agree because many of us were locked down. And this song is pretty much one of those anthems to help us get through the horrible year that was what do you think of that yeah yeah it was um it was a funny time actually raging waterfall was i think it was our fourth track and you'll probably remind me in the track when it uh, in the in the chat when it was um <clears throat> so we were still quite fresh to all of this so we've been playing in bands for 20 years but actually to garage band and production and all this sort of stuff we were still really fresh to it all and um you'll see on here that we've uh, i've had a look through it all and it's like whatever i was watching at the time so you could probably bank on that stereo lags in there because i just watched pete uh cover stereo lag or, or something i've watched you on and uh, and then stuck it all into this uh, all into this so uh, so yeah it was a, it was a uh, it was a really bad time wasn't it but uh you know, lockdown gave us a real opportunity to be able to pull our fingers out and uh, and do some recording. And that's what uh, some of these songs have come from, which is cool. Yeah, man. Bad times sometimes bring really magical stuff. You know, look, at, look at the artwork from the Black Plague. <laughs> what, what are we talking about? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna dive into the project. I think it's about twenty six tracks from memory. So a little bit more than Thomas Galane's um, project, which was about 12, I think. But, you know, there's a, there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. So I'm going to jump over to the big screen here with you in the little bottom corner. And what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to go through each of the parts of the, um, the song. We're going to kick off from the top to the bottom. So now we're going to have a look at the guitars. So there's two acoustic guitar tracks in here. We're going to solo these. We'll solo the first one and have a listen. So you can tell us what's what's going on with this, and I'll I'll play 
So we've got this first one here, which... Um, so is this a DI, which... Yeah, so <clears throat> this is the first time that I had um, done a DI and microphone job both at the same time. So I'm recording them both simultaneously. The same track is going over two tracks, one's DI and one's through a, through a condenser yep, mic. So this is the DI, and then when we bring in the second track, the condenser, is this, which one's which? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, if, you, if you solo the, the second one, you can hear the um, my, my chord changes. Yeah, yeah. And you can see how the dual recording really brings the guitar absolutely to life. So, you know, so if that's if you're looking at recording acoustic guitars, it's definitely something you should consider. I can see that you haven't split these either, so you haven't like widened these out left or right, so they look like they're running up the guts. No, I think there is some panning on them actually. Yeah, if you um, if you just open bit. up the, I think. I think the second track's got more panning on it. I think that's pan to the right. No, it's not. That yeah, was a so lie. The, the first track's <laughs> got a tiny bit of panning. Oh, I'll tell you what's on there. There's some stereo lag on there, but there's only a dribble on both tracks. So if you go to plug in an EQs, there's some stereo okay, lag on there. So we've got some stereo lag. So that's the only effect that's on here. Um, and some EQ. 34 samples there. And we've got some EQ. So, you know, nothing too, too um, evil there. Let's have a look at that second guitar. Stereo lag again. And we get some EQ. A little bit brighter there as well. You'll notice as well that the whole song is three chords. <laughs> it's appalling. Three chord track. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm sure that Willie Nelson would uh, smite you for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cold Acres come into the chat. You better watch. Oh, no, everybody it's hold right. on to your ankles. Cold Acres here. Okay. <laughs> right, so, so, so there's the uh, acoustic tracks, and you've got a quick sneak peek there. So, next we have, we've got the drums. I'm going to solo these out. So, it looks like you've split the drums up here. And we've got. Right, so this was the first time that we'd split the drums out as well. And the first time that we'd actually use manual drums rather than. Um, using the auto drummer. Yeah, I remember this time. I remember this time in our lives. <laughs> um. <laughs> and not, not, neither of us are drummers either, so we don't, we didn't really have a clue what we're doing. So these these drums are going to be dead basic. You got some. No oh, God, see, I had no idea what I was doing. No, that probably. The end, so you pulled out the rumble there out of the. So I'm guessing these are the kicks. Let's have a listen. Are they the kicks? Are they the kicks? Yeah. So you put out the bottom rumble there. <laughs> It's, uh, so again, you know, the simplicity is what makes this song fantastic, I believe, you know, it's just, you're sitting there saying three chords, but it's all the little simple things that are built up in this song to yeah. make it so massive in the end, you know, overfilling stuff is what a producer will tell you not to do. So we're bringing this track here, which I'm guessing is the snare, some toms, no? So we've got some hats. Is it hats? Oh, so there's some, there's toms. There's a bit of everything. I just thought I'd surprise you, but there's, a, there's just a few surprises in there. So you've got hats and toms in there. Let's have a look. Let's open it up. There's a ride in there, isn't yeah, there, by the sound so, of it? Yeah, ride. We've got, and kicks as well. And you've got it all going on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just put E-A-N-G, Stu's finest moment. Nice one. <laughs> So you can see here we've, we've split the drums up. Um, what effects are in here? So we've just got the LRC5. LRC5 on the second. So again, pulled out all that rumble. And on this one too. But do you have as well, and you've got some visual EQ as well. So you have so much EQ, it is just killer. <laughs> <laughs> just tripled triple up on the eq folks you can never have enough eq <laughs> oh, I, keep, I keep stuffing that up all right so let's jump over to the bass and have a look at the the bass what's going on here because so 
Hold on to your ass. This one's uh, this one's proper well, well, tell technical. Us, no, tell us about your bass because you know you, you've changed. <laughs> well, look, you've the changed whole song really is. <laughs> you no longer use the uh, yeah. MIDI bass anymore. Yeah, so we were using Liverpool bass um, last year and uh, and the MIDI and what have you. And uh, I, I use it on a MIDI keyboard. Um, but with this track, just everything needs to be as simple as possible, so we can build we can build the track. We didn't want it to be full of you know complicated chord progressions or anything like that. We just wanted to keep it really clean. And you'll hear the piano in a minute, which is really basic. But um, it sort of just builds it up, and then when everything sort of comes together, it seems to it just seems to have clicked. Yeah. All right, let me bring this uh, screen back up. So this is your EQ that you've got on the Liverpool bass. Quite fitting. Uh, <laughs> let's bring this bass in and hear what's going on. Yeah, man. There we go, see? Simple and effective, right? Look at that. Look at that. I had to do that because Goldsby said he wanted to play the bass. <laughs> I just didn't trust him to do this. <laughs> But th th this is this is an absolute like education in simplicity, from you know. No, it, it is because so many people complicate yeah. things and, and try and you know I'm going to throw a bass in. I'm going to like fill every part of the song when you know you don't need to do that. The bass is, needs to follow the drums. Let's bring in the drums. And that's the job that needs to be done right there, because it's it's yeah, it's that's a backbone, it, isn't it? man. You know. So yeah, there's pretty much a simple EQ on there, and that's nice and beautiful. So we're gonna stop it there for a second. Let's solo out all that because we've got some strings in here. I'm gonna have a look at those. We'll jump over to this full screen here so people can see. What was behind the idea behind the strings here? So strings are just to put it out. <clears throat> so um, there's there's loads of different ways that we've padded the track out. This the strings is just the simpler uh, running your finger up and down the. Uh, up, oh, these are the things that we'd only just learned how to do. It, so we uh, we threw them in. But it seems to pad it out and uh, sits nice in the mix. Yeah, and speaking of padding, so you got basically you've got these strings. I think there's three other tracks of padding in here as well. Let's let's bring all the padding in because we've got some warming waves underneath. So we've got these uh, keys down here. Yeah. Uh, I think we've got, um, or maybe only, no, we've got so three more, two more, but they're further on in the song. Yeah. So just a, and you know what, what's really good about these pads here too, I believe, or what, my opinion, is they're filling out where the gaps are there in the strings, you know, but then you can hear that yeah. you know, the strings pulling in and out. That padding's just there, just to fill it out a bit, give it a bit of body. Yeah. So let's have a listen to your piano as well. So you're using Raven's Cry. Yeah. And um, all right, let's play. Let's see what's going on here with this piano track. I don't play piano, by the way, either. Yeah, neither do I. It's all right. You're amongst friends. <laughs> <laughs> what's a piano? Concert selected here for piano. I had some real problems with the Ravenscroft to start with. I couldn't get it to um I couldn't get it to sustain at the right points. I think it's it's all been fixed now, but uh, that's why I put it onto two tracks. I think I that was the way I fixed it. Yeah, so there is an issue with the sustain when you. Uh, I think Thomas Galen has done a video on this as well. Yeah, uh, you can. Uh, I think you just let's stop it there. So you just you just co copy the track into a normal piano track. I think that's what you do. 
So yeah, that's right. Copy it into a normal piano track, a garage band track, and then copy it, copy it back into Ravenscross, something like that anyway. So, I think there's a you can adjust the sustain in the grand piano stock piano app. Yeah. Uh, and that's how you do it, I think. You adjust it in there and then drop it back into Ravenscross. Yeah, yeah that's so it. Tom, Tom says, put his hand up and said, I did. I do it in Thomas's voice. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I don't have the beard, the beard stroking app out yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good <laughs> beard, right, so, solid. <laughs> let's let's jump over to this solo here and have a listen to the solo. What time are we? Eight minutes. Right. This is Andy. This is Andy all over. This is Andy. actually we, this is the first time. So in in uh, in lockdown one, uh, we they eased the restrictions. And we could have, I think we could have one person in the house or something like that. So that was the first time that me and Andy had got together to, to do a track together. So we, so I could shout at him and uh, we could uh, fall out over a guitar solo and sounds and stuff. But it was wicked because actually we could sit down properly and uh, and put it together. We sort of just sat around my house and uh, and this is this is what it can. And if you know what, actually, just go back to the beginning, Jay, because there was a bit that Andy did at the very beginning with oh, yeah. the with his guitar. So if you scroll down to oh, here. where is it? No, it's above the vocal line. It's the one, the one above the vocal line. This one here. Yeah, that there. So Andy, play, he's he's done something fancy with his fingers on that and the um and his volume knob. But you, but when you hear the acoustic guitar with it, it sounds really cool. It's a bit of volume swell. <laughs> Something fancy. <laughs> Another really tricky, uh, <laughs> tricky bit of playing. Auntie. But but yeah, but if you put if, if you click the both the acoustic guitars on, you'll um, okay. that's the uh, it, that's sort of brought it to life. Let's do that. Let's listen to these together. Oh, <laughs> what the? Fuck? No way. <laughs> do, do you know I've owned this iPad for like. Two and a half years and never had optimizing performance before. Is this an iPad? Is this an iPad Pro? Yeah, it is. Wow. What the hell? Okay. Right, so you'd have, have to, to do. You'd have to do us a dance or a song. All right. Um, I don't have anything prepared. Um, <laughs> do I have a joke? <laughs> what do you say hello to a few people in the chat? Oh yeah, let's do that. Hey, good idea. Hey, you want a yeah. job? Yeah, yeah. Good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Welcome to Jade Stutz. We did that last night, didn't we? Hey, what's going yeah. on? So Gary Hubs is here. Uh, Stu Cash is here. There he is. Um, Russ, hello. Synth Widow, Kiss Kiss Joe. Panda Gerd, Tom Rochelle, SM Borthwig, uh, Patrick Chandler. Hello to you. Kim is here also. Benedict Stewart, Auntie G in the house. Uh, Celine is here. Who else do we have as I'm scrolling down? Pete Johns, hello to you. Um, optimizing performance, unbelievable. Let's <laughs> see, <laughs> 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 um, uh, let's see, let's keep scrolling. Brad, example, welcome to you as well, my friend Gary Hobbs. Uh, if I miss anyone, uh, hoses here. <laughs> And Mike Holmes, hello to Mike Holmes. Are we nearly done with optimizing performance? <clears throat> um, Ed Zielinski, hello to you, my friend. Saga Kadabra. Bubba is here. Who else do we have? And there's so many of you, so thank you all for being here today. So kind of you to come here. Man, you need to get your chair sorted out. <laughs> yeah. <it's> a... <laughs> It's brand new as well. It's a new, new chair. Jesus, where'd you get it? Where'd you pick it up off the side of the football? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we'll get back to you guys. Just adds that little flavor underneath. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's have a listen. So we got a solo here as well. Um, let's get play this. So 
So we've got three tracks of guitar. There's all sorts of this. And we're running through uh, the Membrini <laughs> NAMRH810. We've got a Membrini analog rack delay. Yeah. And a stereo lag. Cool. Love that bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I never no, expected no, 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 the no, solo no, to no, sound no. like that. You, you, you kind of, you know, this is the beauty of, uh, you know, when you layer all this stuff together. You don't hear all those little intricacies um, all the time and <coughs> what's going on there. There's a few parts there I was like, oh, really? There's those little deep notes in there? That's, that's really cool. So I just want to send out a, a shout to Nembrini as well. And happy birthday to Nembrini today. They provided me a code for MRH810 so I could show this song today. Legends, <laughs> good on you, Nembrini. You guys rock. So thank you for that. <laughs> that was the first time Andy had used that, actually, because um, I think we tried to use it, and Scott Borthwick had done a review on it, and then we bought it, <clears throat> and, then, uh, and then Andy picked it up. And then, yeah, that was the first time that we stuck that, that Nembrini app on. It's brilliant. Yeah, well, it sounds beautiful. It's got a Marshall sound, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to actually do a review on it next week. Um, so we'll be doing that. Let's jump over to these other guitar tracks here. So we've got four guitar tracks. What, what are you so, using here? Well, I fussed over. Um, we had a bit of a set two on this. This this song almost didn't see the light of day. I just got fed up with it because it was so. It just was didn't seem to go anywhere. Um, and we couldn't find the right amps or anything. And then we 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 went with the stock amps in the end. So I've got one with. I think I've got. There might be a pedal on one of them and then the, the orange one, but actually when you stick them both together in, in the track, I think in isolation, when you listen to them in isolation now, I don't think they'll sound much cop, but actually when, when it comes in, it's quite subtle. The, the overdriven guitar sort of brings that part of the um, chorus in. Um, and we didn't want it to be like this massive crashing anthemic star. We just wanted it to sort of like drive and just start to kick through using a bit of a, yeah, there you go. So you've got a bit of high drive on that. And then on the orange one, um, there's a couple on the orange one, I think. Yeah, you've got the... Yeah, the vintage, vintage drive and... and the Blue Echo. I don't think that's even switched on, that Blue Echo. <laughs> it's, it's, I didn't, it's didn't even press it in. <laughs> just loitering out the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the padding, it's sitting in the corner, yeah. masturbating. <laughs> how, we do, how we did this track, I'll never know. So, yeah, so I mean... <laughs> And this is this is the sort of the start of the chorus where uh, you know it starts to starts to just drive and ramp up the song using the using these guitars. So Andy's pulled you up in the chat. Last man standing was the first Nembrini. Oh bloody hell! Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Auntie Auntie Andy's been, Auntie Andy, going prune your roses. She'll go and cut the roses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear these guitars. Oh, we got a bit of noise there. Like oh, that. oh, it should have should have shaken it's, off. It's grunge, man. It's grunge. sound. want to point out so you've got these other two guitar tracks here it looks like they're, they're a little bit hotter than the other ones which I'm getting yeah you want I don't to know. Build, up, build up the end a bit is that or, or is it just a mistake <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> <laughs> whatever it was I, I, I probably didn't mean it I don't know it's, it's yeah, yeah, they're going to come a bit off to listen to this Ooh. yeah man they're hot Thank you. 
<laughs> no, but that makes sense, you know? Yeah. That just that makes utter sense. I mean, it's the end of the song, building up. Like, I'm saving your ass here. <laughs> Sounds are all and it's all together. Promise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can you stop isolating all the songs? All this the is the reason. Well, this is the reason we do yeah. this because yeah. you you listen to songs and you look at mixes and they're, they're not always perfect. But people sit there and obsess and obsess and obsess to get these things right. And really, you know, things don't have to be... If it sounds good in the mix, that's the most important thing. That's always the most important thing besides anything else. Yeah. So let's stop isolating those for a second. <laughs> and let's let's have a look, because you've, you've got some more padding in here. So we've got some padding down the bottom here. What are these? The Wandering Voices. See, I, I would never have guessed The Wandering Voices made it into this song. No, you probably can't hear it either. <laughs> but everything contributes it's all a part to that build up of those levels you know and you've got another one where's this where's this one so here it is you've got an analog unison lead let's bring that in oh it's yeah it's gonna take over for the end of this part This is only at the end, so again, building up the end to be a big moment. Yeah. Crescendo, yeah. The roof comes off, you're kicking a hole in the wall. <laughs> so also, let's skip down here, because we've got my favorite bit of the track here. <laughs> Hang on, let me rephrase that. <laughs> it's not my favorite part, of it. it's, it's one of my favorite things of the song, but it's so subtle. So this is a scrape. Oh, it's me scrape. We've got a scrape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's just not rock and roll unless there's a scrape in there, is it? It works when you turn all the uh, tracks on again. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> You're like, put everything back on. <laughs> Quick. It's all right, because we're up to the best bit. Oh and we'll, no! Yeah, and vocals. We'll have a little bit of a break. So, all right, folks, it's <laughs> the time every vocalist goes. Oh, please, 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 starts talking over the top. Um, let's hear the amazing vocals and amazing harmonies because Stu's voice is absolutely awesome. You know, it is the it is the anthem of of your sound. You know, your harmonies are brilliant. So let's hear. Just what's going on? I don't think I've seen so you doubled your tracks. Yeah. <clears throat> it feels so familiar now. I'm not sure. Man, you really pull a a really effing thick sound the of your vocals. All steam up, I'm high and dry. We got a third track here with harmonies. Yeah, there's harmonies, yeah. I don't think I've seen your face before. Beautiful. Let's hear that harmony. Familiar now I'm not sure. Nice. <laughs> the windows all steam up. I want to skip to the end here because you've got this is where again at the end here you've doubled up the harmonies as well it looks like yeah to, yeah just, just just a crescendo it <laughs> had to leave the scrape in <laughs> I don't feel that I belong anymore yeah So beautiful. 
<laughs> that one a bit flat. <laughs> has, it, has anybody ever noticed that? No. No. You wouldn't. You can't. Like, that's the thing. I hear it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, that's it. And, and you do. That, that is one of the things. You, you, yeah. know, you hear those things, but you've got to build a bridge. You know, because like, if it wasn't for me pulling all this apart right now, nobody would have even heard that. It's not even like... A, like it doesn't even stand out like dog's balls or anything like no. that. You know? No, thanks. <laughs> it only did there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh let's let's have a break. We'll come back and we'll, we'll play this and then we've got something special for you guys. We've got a we've got a bit of a premiere today, so I'm super excited. Yeah. We got something special for you. Thanks to both Andy and Stu for uh allowing me to do this on, on this show. So uh, we'll just bring back our chat here and let you know, have you considered using DistroKid? You use DistroKid, don't you? You use DistroKid to uh, release your stuff, yeah? Yeah, we've released uh, we released an album and a single more recently. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah, and how, so so you, all, all your music's been through DistroKid, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, they uh, we we actually cocked it up from our end on when wow. we first uh, when we first released it. So we uh, we both sat in Andy's conservatory, or giving each other high fives and stuff, and we'd actually cocked it up. So when it was released, uh, and we listened to it. We were like, we, we'd compress one of the tracks really badly. Yeah. And uh, uh, so we we emailed DistroKid, and they were wicked. So they came back straight away. Um, a guy emailed us back and took down the album straight away and, and told us to resubmit it, re-put it back on. And uh, and it was done within about six or seven days. But I'd had loads of backwards and forwards with the guy as well from DistroKid, and it was the same guy picking the emails up. It was pretty cool. And, uh, and he was just so good. Um, and they fixed it, and then we got it back on. And even the last one, so we've uh, we just we've just released um, "Sinking Like a Stone" through DistroKid. Uh, that was our latest single, and uh, and that was on in like twenty four hours. You know, it was like it was on, done and dusted. It's really good, really cool that you can get all your tracks done and then because you know that that's sort of like the last thing that you do, isn't it? You know, you go through all that hard work and all that pain and stuff. And then you want to get it on, you know, onto the streaming platforms, but you want it on there immediately. So uh, you're sort of hoping it goes on. And I think we put it on on like the Saturday morning, and by Sunday lunchtime, it was uh, it was on. It was wicked. Yeah, I, I, I remember you uh, telling me all about that hassle that you had. And I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, and you're absolutely right though. When you do put all this work in, you spend all these months, all this pain, blood, and sweat that you put into it. The last thing you want is for it to be really difficult to upload songs. Yeah, to actually, get online. You want that to be as easy as possible. It's why I use DistroKid. You can see this is my DistroKid here. I have a plethora of albums available on DistroKid because I have a label account um that costs me, cost me like 79 bucks a year or something like that so but you can sign up to distro kid for you know it's like 20 bucks a year there is a promo code in my uh description which you can get seven percent off and uh, i recommend them to everyone because they're awesome all right so let's go back and have a look at this uh wonderful track we're going to bring everything in here and see how it sounds. <coughs> and then we are going to have a look at this new track. So let's go to this. Jesus Christ! It's every time you every time you move, man. It sounds like, it sounds like, Sorry. It sounds like there's an earthquake. <laughs> I've been professional throughout. I don't know what you're talking about. No. Hey, we actually prepared this like <laughs> we did. The last, after the last three days, man. <laughs> we've, we've had two Skype calls. We've had three clubhouse meetings. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Better leave my phone volume on. Typical. Uh, hey, I uh, see Doug's in the chat as well, and Jamie Melander. Hello, welcome to you guys. We're pros all the way. <laughs> All right, so let's bring everything in. We're gonna, I'm going to kick off with the guitars, and we'll uh, 
yeah, you know what? I should be sampling your chair, actually. Yeah, you should. <laughs> and use it as a drum beat because I'm going to remaster. I'm going to remix this and add my own 808 to this. Track. <laughs> 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 All right, let's have a play, <laughs> and we'll bring everything in as it comes up. I don't think I've seen this place Bring in this padding. So you can hear. Yeah. It adds something massively. We'll add some bass. Beautiful. Drums. Strings. Bring in the guitar now. It's actually really subtle. Yeah. Bring it down a bit. It's actually really subtle when your guitars come in. They don't overpower the whole song. In. Oh no, it's not. I was gonna. I was actually gonna mute that by itself. <laughs> I'll add the padding in uh, in the other bit last. Yes. Let's bring in this padding. Beautiful. I'll just uh, pop you back in the screen here. Let's stop this sucker. So we're going to close, close out of this. Here we go. You have, seen, you have 
witnessed and heard the wonderful track of Raging Waterfall in the Garage Band Project, along with Stu's amazing chair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which just... <laughs> Getting all paranoid about it now. I'm, I'm, trying not, I'm trying not to move. All right. So what we're going to do to wrap up the show, <laughs> we're going to give you a sneak peek of... Well, we're going to play the whole thing. So first, I need to. I think I need to go back over here and find it. So we have a brand new track. And how cool is this? I actually have the project of the brand new track, Let Me In. So this is really freaking exciting. And... Um, you want to just tell us a bit about what's different? What have you done differently in, in this recording? Yeah, it's got more than three chords. That's the first <laughs> thing that's different. <clears throat> um, it's funny, this track, because um, I, I thought of the chorus while I was in the shower uh, and then ran out of the shower and uh, grabbed my guitar and tried to, tried to get it recorded into a phone. You know what it's like. Um, and then we spent forever not being able to do anything with it, having a chorus that we really liked and not being able to do anything with it. And then um, it, it just so happened that Andy had written a song himself. Um, so he was showing me this song and then I had this sort of like chorus. And then we both had this epiphany that it might work with both of the songs blended together with what Andy was trying to do with his and with with, with what I was doing with mine. And, um, and yeah, so we, we're really proud of this, but actually a massive shout out to, uh, to Mr. Gary Hobbs, who, uh, who's, who's in the chat. And uh, we, um, we're not, we, we don't play the drums. So I, I did all the, um, I did all the drum bits, all the MIDI bits, and split it all out. And uh, most of it was all right, but I really thought, actually, if we're going to really benefit from this, we'll send it to someone who knows what they're doing with, uh, with the drums that, that's, uh, that's got a bit of experience. So, um, so we reached out to, to uh, to Gaza on um, on Clubhouse and uh, asked him if he would uh, have a look at the drums and put his special sauce <laughs> on the drums. Um, Gaza's special sauce. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then fix some of the rolls as well. I'd got some of the rolls sorted, but just it just wasn't it just wasn't clicking somehow. And uh, so yeah, and then it, so he got hold of it. And honestly, he's he is like a magician with it all, and we were super super chuffed with it and uh, we we gave him a ring today and just said uh you know thanked him and what have you and uh yeah so look at that <laughs> a bit different yeah. and just put and just put all the uh all the bass down real bass, um, yeah. real bass uh yeah there's all sorts on there we've got some um b talk on there so we've got some trumpets on there um so we've used b talk um uh there's no stock garage band bits of thing on um tracks on it this time but there's uh so there's raven's croft we've used uh we've used zeppelin's communication breakdown guitar solo as the sound for a couple of the guitars and the other one i think andy's used nembrini cronk he loves nembrini yeah. cronk and i've taken out the breaths at the vocals as well yeah, look at that yeah. it's all you could hear on raging waterfall <gasps> <gasps> yeah, that was one of the things that uh, the ladies were loving <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> right, so so what I'm going to do to play this um, is I'm just I'm not going to play it all together because we'll do that at the end, but we'll play bits of it and we'll hear what's actually going on with bits of it. Yeah, so cool. Let's start off. So we've got this. We'll kick off with this rhythm here. That looks like a kick. So we've got two rhythm guitars, and we've got another one here. Bring in this next one here. Here a comes lot of drums. A lot of drums. Piano track in there as well. Yeah. A reckless time to contemplate, but don't give up on time. <laughs> I'm greater than the crowd. I'm greater than I've ever been. I'm kicking. 
breaking down another door So come on and let me in I'm higher than the clouds So we got Ravenscroft as well I'm kicking down another door So come on and let me in Now as I count my days gone by Bit of padding. So come on and let me in I'm higher than the clouds I'm higher than I've ever been I'm kicking down another door So come on and let me in <coughs> What? Are you a solo? There he is This is like a breakdown version. I feel like I'm in a lounge bar. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing this on purpose so we can bring in these uh, brass instruments at the end. Because you've gone out on the brass. Yeah, I'm not great on it, but it, I think it's all right. That's all you're getting, folks, because we're going to listen to the whole song to go out. So there's a little bit of the project just to give you a taste of what's going on. Now I'm going to do a remix of this at some stage. <laughs> I'm country effort. Because luckily this show is being recorded and I can go back and sample your chair noises. <laughs> and I'm going to do the chair remix. <laughs> Get some brush free on it. That'll do it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, folks. So let's uh, shut out this project. Right. Turn it up. So this is that was called "Let Me In." So this is a brand new song, and um, look, it's killer. I've had uh, the privilege to master it last night, which was really interesting as well. So we mastered this over Skype. Man, we live in an amazing world, don't we? You know, yeah. we can come together on, on our clubhouse and talk about this stuff and then sit there. So it was me, Stu and Andy sitting on Skype together, mastering this and then sending it back over to you to have a listen to <laughs> wow. Just Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, I just think back to my future, my, my future kid, <laughs> my past child and be like, I could never imagine being in this position I was saying this last night when I was a, released my first album you re, you spent all this time in the studio and you just sent it to some mastering company <laughs> you didn't even know who these fuckers were and they just mastered yeah. it for like $500 send you it back and you just whatever you got you got now you can sit on Skype and do it so yeah um, absolutely pretty damn cool so we'll, what we're going to do is open this in Lursons because this is what it was mastered in yeah, this is cool. Like what Andy's put on here is put recorded in Brum, drums in Canada, and mastered in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> it's been all That's over. Cool. Been around the world. Nah, yeah, yeah. I can't find my baby. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. 
All right, so all our settings are exactly as they were from last night, I do believe. So 4.3, yep, we are good to go. So this is, um, I just bring up the screen here. Alrighty, so basically I'll let you know, folks, what's going on. At the end of this show, we are heading over to Clubhouse. So there's a link up pinned up there in the top of the chat. If you're not a member of Clubhouse, you can always go to uh, the, our How to App website, our Facebook page. Where is it? There it is. And um, there are links to it, and somebody can send you an invite if you're not already a part of Clubhouse because it is an invite only and uh, someone will get your phone number and that's the way we do it. So you can pop over to the Clubhouse and we'll have Andy and Stu on the voice chats in Clubhouse talking about uh, the songs, their recording process and all that kind of jazz. So it should be lots of fun. And uh, we're gonna go out right now with this track. So uh, thank you very much, Stu, for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for sharing your project with me. Thanks for allowing me to master the song and be involved all the way. I love your music, and I'm sure everybody here will say the same. Indigo Sunsets were my band of 2020. You, you, got, us, you got us through some tough times, man, and, and at the same time, it's just been so beautiful to see you guys blossom and, and just become, like, I don't know, all our favorites. It's like this homegrown, amazing band that we all love, so thank you. Thanks very much. And thank you, Andy, for being in the chat. And um, and thank you to Stu's chair. <laughs> I'll mute. No, I'll mute. <laughs> yeah. All right. So thanks, folks, for hanging out here today. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. Let's go out with this awesome track. This is Let Me In by the Indigo Sunsets, and we'll see you over on Clubhouse. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Timeless class.